How to create an iOS context menu in Flutter that shows a list of action buttons. All in all, if you long press on an item, it will show a preview of this item and a context menu below with a list of quick actions related to this item. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with a simple red container item inside of our build method and if we long press on this item then we want to show a context menu and therefore I simply wrap here around this container a context menu widget. Inside of this widget you can supply then some actions, therefore I put here a list of actions inside. So in my case I have here then three different actions and you can also set for each action text a trailing icon if you like. And with this I can long press on this item and then you see here this context menu below with our three actions and also the three trailing icons that we have supplied here inside. By default if you click on an action then nothing is happening and to change this you can simply go inside of the on pressed handler of an action and here you call then every time the navigator pop method. And with this, if I click here on an action, then it hides our context menu because we have called this navigator pop method. And secondly, it also prints then here the number inside of our console on which item we have clicked. Next, you can also define the type of this action and therefore you have here this property is destructive action, which you set to true. And with this, our delete action has now here a red color because it is a destructive action and this means something negative can happen if the user clicks here on this button because something is deleted. For the other actions like copying and sharing, this is a positive action because nothing can go wrong. Let's also look here at a second example where I have a grid view of items. And now if we long press on an item then we want to show our context menu. And therefore I simply go here to this item builder of my grid view. And here we have the method to display one specific item. And around this method we want to wrap then our context menu widget. And again like before we create then here a list of actions that we want to have if we click on this item. Let's also try it out. I click on an item, we have then the preview of this item and the context menu below. Next, you can also customize how this preview widget here on the top is displayed. And therefore you have here within your context menu widget a preview builder and here inside of this preview builder you can put here simply the widget inside that is displayed here on the top. So in my case I put simply a red container inside and with this we have here now this red container on the top. Let's now exchange our preview, our red container again with the normal item that we display normally. So we simply display again this item and if you like you can also stretch this item so that it takes here the maximum size it can get and therefore you simply wrap it inside of a size box expand widget. And with this all of the previews that we have now are then expanding here to the maximum size they can get. And by the way if you want to get here this whole source code of this application then you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.